to our next topic. Of course, Tough Enough officially announced last night. Um, and I know we have, or or, or also as, as we could say, uh, or pick an indie wrestler. And uh, you had a question around this, right, Eamon? Well, my theory was that, that they were, because they implied that there's going to be some sort of fan voting that goes into this whole season. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how much the fan voting will actually play. Like, it won't be the final say, I'm assuming. Um, but my theory was that if they're going to do that, and the fan voting is going to have a big role, then it neither needs to be all indie wrestlers or no indie wrestlers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because if it's half and half, then I'm guessing who's going to make it to the, to the second half of the show. Or, or they, <laughs> they could all get right Matt crossed. Yeah, it, 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 but but we kind of got the discussion, and, and we wanted to save this for the show. Uh, since there are indie wrestlers that, you know, are, are stimulating trying out for this opportunity, uh, and we are going to pick an indie wrestler that we want to see uh, hopefully get on top of that. Can we have a serious answer and a joke answer? Sure. Yeah. I, oh, I'd like that. oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> this just expanded my options. I, my, uh, well, my joke answer is Super Oprah. Uh, <laughs> I would just really enjoy seeing them deal with that. Um, serious answer, uh, uh, ACH. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. I won't have to go around with the show. Uh, serious answer, which friend am I going to pick? Um, you know, <laughs> I, you know, somebody that hasn't been around a long time. Oh, shit. But has potential. Uh, I'm going to say Andrew Palace. All right. I'd like okay. to see him have a crack at it. Um, more serious answer, Space Monkey. <laughs> Damn it! It feels like it feels like people are getting on the Space Monkey bandwagon, from what I'm hearing. So uh, look out for some stuff there. He's actually booked on the next Super Indie IWC Wrestling. Uh, no, uh, Road to Super Indie. Uh, I, oh God, if he's on Super Indie, holy crap. Um, anyway, sorry about that. And uh, who, who else has one? I got one. I got okay, two. Okay, Bobby? Uh, joke answer, cheeseburger, Mario H. Uh, legit answer, friend of the show, Dalton Castle. He is for also from ROH. Super, he's super over in ROH right he now. Is, he, is. he wants you to check your prostate. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, so exactly. weird. He did not answer my Twitter question last night, Aww. by the way. So I should right. I should have done it from my own account. So uh, what about you, Mike? Okay. Um, serious answer. Uh, Phoenix. Lucha mm. okay. okay. I would love to see that. Uh, joke answer. Freight train. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> like I think seriously, I think the they should sprinkle. Like freight train would be amazing on that show. <laughs> He's wow. nodding his head and rubbing his smooth belly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think Riz misheard which one was my real which one was my <laughs> But yeah, I would I would love to see Phoenix just I, I just love his matches so much. And mm-hmm. it, it feels like since the Muertes feud, he hasn't been used that much. Right. So Right. What about you, Eamon? Uh the ones that came to my mind, uh, Bobby series- stop it with that action figure. Sorry. He's just floating it past the camera <laughs> and it's in the Bobby corner of my eye Boba and it's distracting me. I want Boba yeah. Fett to be on top of that. <laughs> Jeez. I'm no, sorry, Eamon. Um, uh, for my serious one, I would go with somebody who I think is very deserving and can do some big things in WWE and that's Athena who oh, good. is yeah. immensely yeah. talented and I think deserves yeah. a shot. Uh, my joke, my it's a serious answer but it's kind of a joke answer would be Mia Yim for her just saying, oh. fuck you to TNA. <laughs> putting me in a, putting her in a fucking dollhouse and all this bullshit. No, fuck that. Yeah, um, Bobby, you gonna watch Impact this week? I saw the promo. Did it freak you out too? Because it uh, freaked me the hell out on YouTube. I had. Did, did you think you were watching a German porn? I, I had confused <laughs> feelings about it. <laughs> I'm kind of with <laughs> you accurate. too. Nope. So accurate. Kind of with you on that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think everybody's gone, right? Uh, so so tough enough coming up. Like, uh, can I can I give an honorable man. mention? Okay. Uh, serious answer, RJ City. Oh yeah, oh so, certainly. How's that guy not had a look? You know, um, I it, but uh, LB, you had something. Uh, I, I I thought of this right after I said um, 
ACH uh, is um, fucking friend of the show uh, facade. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no, certainly, certainly. Um, and um, uh, Matt's joke answer is Masquerita Sagrada, who was actually on WWE. <laughs> Masquerita Sagrada was on the premiere episode of Shotgun Saturday Night. Oh jeez. Also, Manchild. Well, I would, I would love if Tough Enough had like old wrestlers from the nineties, just having to re-audition for their spots. Yes. Oh my God, Zoltan! <laughs> Techno Team Two Thousand shows up. They're like, you guys, now we're retro. It'll wow. Be Techno great. Team Two Thousand was one of my favorite tag teams back in the back yeah, in the day. Oh, I still remember them. But I also have a call out to the Mayhemers, and I think everybody should.